Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Automation Empire. This is a new game coming to Steam sometime here uh, very soon. There will be a link down in the description. Um, it's a game by Dog Hoggler, and they were kind enough to send me a key to give it a try. So do that, we shall. It's a game in the automation, uh, factory building, management sort of a genre. Uh, one that we know quite well. And uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be a lot of comparisons to other games in that genre. Uh, I, however, am not going to do that. I feel it is best uh, to show uh, rather than tell. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. It's a, it, it's you know we we know the the idea here. We're going to be extracting uh, minerals. We're going to be producing things and uh, sending them off. We have a number of different planets we can start out with. Uh, some are kind of like deserty. Uh, we've got some rocky hills, craters. Uh, all these take place on, it's a whole bunch of static maps. They're, it's not like procedurally generated, um, at least not that I'm aware. Uh, we have some uh, volcanic canyons, uh, snow forest. Um, I started out, uh, I did a, a couple of little practice games over here in the Split Valley. Uh, let's go to the next one here, Rocky Hills. Nice little green area here. Uh, beautiful little meadow in order for us to build a factory. Uh, sounds good. Uh, let's create a new one. Uh, name my colony. Um, we'll name it Bruce. That's what we'll do. Our colony's name is Bruce. And uh, we have the option to use his starter mode here. This basically uh, uh, sets up kind of a little mini infrastructure to get going. Uh, you can start with it off, but I found that whenever I start with it off, I go ahead and build the, the, the thing that's already built anyway. Uh, so we'll just leave it on. Uh, we'll go ahead and start and uh, take a look at some Automation Empire. As we load up our map, we get our mission. Our goal is to produce 25,000 kilograms of weight output uh, within a three month period. Shouldn't be such a problem. Uh, I accept. Uh, and as a matter of fact, our little drone down here, our robot friend is busy working on that goal right now. So far he has two. And uh, we need 25,000. Uh, so I, I think we're going to have to get that guy some help. Uh, a good job as he's doing down there. Uh, he's not going to be able to manage it by himself. Uh, so let's take a look what we have available to us. Uh, this is our map. Um, it's not a procedurally generated map, but it is a, a pretty good sized map. Uh, we got a lot of space here to work with. And uh, all over the place, uh, you can kind of see these little nodes. Right here, there's uh, some black coal nodes. Um, over here, there are some yellow gold nodes. And uh, let's see, do we have any, yeah, iron. Iron is this, these little white splotches, like right here, and uh, there's some over here. And uh, our, our goal is to basically pull resources out of these nodes, uh, do a little bit of processing to them, uh, load them up on these trucks or other uh, transportation methods, and uh, send them off uh, to be sold uh, so that we can make a little bit of cash, so we can uh, expand out the factory, uh, so that we can make more cash, uh, so that we can expand out the factory. Um, until we get 25,000 uh, of these items going out, uh, kilograms of items going out per month. Um, over here, uh, the, the starter option, basically it built this stuff. It built us a, a power station uh, that makes power in exchange for money. It's a, it's a money-based power station. I'm not sure if that's considered clean energy or not. Uh, I assume so. Uh, we have a drone bay here, which is basically controlling our little robot friend here. We basically need one of these per four drones that we have out on the system. Um, they don't go back to it. They don't charge it or anything. Uh, it just needs to be there. Uh, over here, we have a mining rig that is currently mining coal ore for us. Um, it is pulling that out of a coal node that it's sitting on top of. And that's sending it over here to this crate maker, which is uh, making crates, as, as the name would imply. It's uh, crating up our coal ore. Um, and sending it out to this unload station where our drone is picking it up and placing it on this truck that is currently parked at our uh, road pit stop. And I'm just setting the priorities down. They, they set them to high automatically. Uh, when I'm dealing with a preference system, a uh, priority system like that, I like to set everything to low and only set high stuff uh, in areas that would actually need high priority, right? Because if everything's high priority, nothing's high priority. Uh, that's the way those systems generally work. 
Um, so our robot here, he's going to go ahead and put this last crate onto this truck. Uh, the truck will take off down the road. Um, it'll head over here to this road exit, and once it exits the map, uh, that's when we get paid. Uh, where it goes, I don't know. It goes into this mountain. I I'm assuming there's some kind of Elon Musk tunnel system under this planet. And uh, it, 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 it knows where to go. It knows where to go once it goes into the tunnel. It, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, and we got a lot of, uh, building materials down here we need to do, but, but starting off, our, our priority is to, to research some things and, and to make some money. And right now, we're, we're currently making money. Uh, our, our little robot friend is loading on the truck and we're selling stuff, but we're not doing so in the most efficient manner. Uh, if we take a look at this mining drill, it is making one coal ore per 10 seconds. And our crate machine here can crate one every three seconds. Um, so this isn't the most efficient uh, setup right here, especially whenever you consider how much power these things use. Um, this guy right here is costing us $800 a month, and this guy right here is costing us $1,200 a month. Uh, this is just in the power costs uh, to keep these guys running. Um, so we could go and make like another mining rig here and set up another crate machine and another mining rig and, and set up a, another crate machine. But that wouldn't be the most economically sound way to go about doing things. Um, so let's work on something here. I'm going to go ahead and let our little robot grab that crate right there. And I'm going to delete that once it's done. And I'm going to let him grab this crate. And I'm going to delete that once it's done. And uh, let's see if we can make this run just a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and put another mining rig down uh, because we can. Uh, we have a number of different ways we can move stuff around the base. We're kind of limited here at first with what we can do. Uh, we have our robots, as we've already seen. Uh, you can set up kind of little logistics networks based with them. Um, they're a little bit derpy, though. And uh, as you can see, they, they're, they're really kind of slow. Uh, we also have a minecart system, though. Uh, and I think I would like to go ahead and set that up uh, for our coal ore just off the bat here because I think it's going to be a little bit better. So let's just kind of run the track off in kind of this general direction. Uh, that looks great. And uh, we can add some carts to this track and they will travel between this and uh, an area over here where we'll build, um, let's see, let's build like a storage tank here where we'll store our ore uh, that we're actually mining here from the ground. And let's go ahead and pause it uh, because sometimes uh, the, the, if we keep going, we'll, we'll accumulate electricity costs and uh, the amount of money that we're dealing with will, will go down slowly. Um, so in order to get the ore from these mining rigs into our uh, mine carts, we'll need one of these transfer tubes. There's two kinds. There's the kind that, that basically load or, or send stuff down uh, into something. And then there's the kind that sucks stuff up from mine carts or whatever into the item. Uh, since we're producing and we're going to be loading mine carts, these are the ones we want. So let's go ahead and throw a couple of those down. And then over here in our storage tank, uh, we're going to want one that lifts out and puts into. Uh, so something like that. And uh, then we'll go ahead and extend this mine track out a little bit for reasons that will become apparent here uh, very soon. And uh, then from here, what we can do is then get one of these transfer tubes that is straight. We can't just hook something directly up to a storage container or directly up to, to something. Uh, we actually have to have one of these transfer tubes. And also important of note is that these transfer tubes don't pipe together, kind of like a pipe system or anything like that. Uh, you can really only have one. We do have one that's a little bit longer, uh, three long instead of just one. Uh, but it can basically only go through one transfer tube at a time. Um, so we'll put our transfer tube here. Uh, then we'll hook up our crate maker. And uh, then we'll grab some unload stations. Uh, maybe let's start out with uh, two. Uh, we'll set a priority on them. Um, very nice. And uh, then we need to add our minecarts. So let's go ahead and add. Uh, let's just start out with two of those for now. And uh, let's see, then we'll need power. Uh, power, and then I think we should be good to go. Um, let's run, can we run it like outside here? Yeah, there we go. That, that all looks good. Okay, let's unpause and uh, see what we've done here. Now the mine carts are gonna travel along the little path. Uh, They're going to run into this guy, which he will unload. 
and he's actually going to fully unload, and it'll take a little while for it to buffer. Uh, but these tracks go a little bit past because the cart actually needs to go under the nozzle for it to get sucked up. Um, so that's why I made them a little bit longer. Um, there's no, like, stations or anything like that. Basically, this guy is just going to bounce back and forth. Um, you can also make it into a loop, if you would like, and uh, it will travel along the loop. But yeah, that's uh, looking a lot better, uh, looking a lot more efficient. And uh, you know what? I think we could probably go with another drone here to help out our buddy. Uh, so let's throw another one. We've got space for four. Uh, we might as well at least use two of them. All right, that's looking good. Um, so yeah, we're rather limited. Uh, there's some things that we need to unlock in order to progress a little bit further. And we do that through this screen right here. Uh, you see... That uh, there's a number of different items here that we can unlock. It looks rather limited, but um, actually there's a lot of stuff you can do under each tier. At least as far as I've discovered. Um, so our first one right here requires 20,000 R's. Um, research points. Research points, yes. And uh, the way we get those is through um, these research bays. And uh, basically the way research works is we don't have to craft any specific item. It just takes some item. And some sciences do actually require specific items. But for right now, just starting out, it just needs, uh, it just needs matter, <laughs> basically. Uh, so we'll put a little tube off of this uh, storage tank and then place a little lab. Um, it will fill up with contents, which in this case is our coal ore. And it'll start processing that into research points. Now, as this bar fills up, it's going to generate these research points, and it's going to fill up this bar. And once the bar gets past this little mark right here, we can actually claim those and cash them in. Um, it just takes a little bit of time uh, for that to occur. Uh, so we'll let that guy work, and uh, whenever whenever he dings green, uh, we'll know that it's time to go and claim our research, and uh, we can move on from there. All right, so how are you guys looking? a little bit better how's our storage here all right uh not too bad um let's see let's scale this up a little bit uh can we afford another pit stop i believe we can uh let's see let's go ahead and rotate that there we go we'll put another pit stop right here uh, we'll set it at a low priority as well and that'll allow two trucks to park at the same time so in the meantime, while, while one of the trucks is going off, it'll still give these robots something to do. And uh, do we want to throw another drone in? Sure, why not? I'm not sure if these cost power or if just the facility does. I'm not entirely clear. Um, it totally doesn't matter. Um, so these guys, and now we have another truck here ready to go. So when this one fills up, uh, this one can get filled up. And we actually have a third one coming. Uh, for reasons. All right, well, we'll probably just have to wait a little while for, for that one to come. He, he He's a little early. He got there early, uh, so he's going to go off and, and have some lunch somewhere. Oh, nope, this guy here is going to take his space. Okay, very nice. All right, so that's looking good, and I tell you what, since we're here, uh, let's go ahead and hook this one up as well. Uh, let's see, that's under minecart tracks. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, take that. Is that going to fit? Oh, yeah, like it was meant to. All right, and we'll add another cart. And uh, that should get things a moving. All right, and how many drones do we have? Do we only have three? We only have three. Uh, we got money. Let's go ahead and put a fourth one down. And I'm also going to expand out um, our unload station here. This is kind of acts like a buffer, just so it can actually work uh, full time. And it will buffer up four of those and get stuff moving just a little bit better, I think. All right, how's science going? Um, we're about a uh, little bit under halfway there. Very good. Unfortunately, there's no, like, fast-forward button. Um, that would be nice. But it, it kind of keeps you keeps you going a little bit, I guess. Keeps you on top of things. All right, so let's see. We need to keep expanding because uh, we need to make more money. We need to load some more crates here. 
Um, I think this is pretty much set for now. Let's take a look over here and see if we can't tap into some of this iron. What's gonna, what's going to need to occur for that to take place? Uh, we're gonna need some mining rigs. Uh, those are a little bit on the expensive side, and we can't really afford to do that right now. But maybe as we're waiting for uh, money to pile up, we can kind of think about how we want to run our rail here, because I don't think this is going to be straightforward. No, I think that's going to be off. Um, let's see, is is that it? Right. I'm trying to remember if if that is how close it needs to be, or if that is how close it needs to be. I, I feel I feel it needs to go there. Uh, let's check. Uh, I'm still not clear. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter uh, if we load it from the other side. Uh, so it needs to. We need to have an open space right there. We have to. We have to leave a little bit of space for our inserter tube. Uh, was that right or was that right? I think that was right. I don't think that's right. Here, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's do it this way. Uh, you go there, okay, and uh, we'll get a transfer tube. But I call it an inserter tube. Whoops. Uh, I was off. That's uh, that's that's apparent to me now. Um, okay, yeah, let's, we'll get you hooked up here. Uh, we want that right there. There we go, and that should be able to curl around and, uh, intersect that one at some point. Uh, for now, we don't really have the cache, so, uh, we'll just, we'll just leave that, we'll just leave that like that for now. Okay, and then we'll run the rail. Um, maybe, maybe something like uh, that. Seems like a good start. Uh, we'll get another storage tank here. Maybe right um, like that. Uh, get our feeder coming in. And uh, get one of those. Uh, can we afford one of these? Uh, we sure can. And uh, can we afford one of these? Uh, no, we cannot. All right. So I tell you what. Let's. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Not even. Not even a little bit. Ah, there we go. That works a lot better. Uh, let's go ahead and add a minecart, and then let's come over here. Can I copy this power pole? I, it, their, their hitboxes are a little bit weird. Okay, it'd be a lot quicker just to come down here. All right, and uh, we'll run power. Uh, run power. Okay, and that will get the iron flowing. Uh, we should have a little bit now where we can go ahead and expand that out a bit. Uh, throw a couple of those guys down, set them to low priority, and that should get us working on making some, uh, packaging up some iron. And uh, making a little bit, bit of extra money here. Okay, so we're green here. That means we're ready to claim some points. Let's go ahead and do that. Very, very good. Um, we can come up here to our research screen. That gives us enough to uh, basically research uh, refining right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can take our coal ore and our iron ore and refine that into coal and iron, uh, which sells for a little bit more, and I believe it weighs a little bit more too. Uh, so that kind of helps us get to our goal, if I am not mistaken. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to get into refining. I'm more interested in scaling up our production here so that we can uh, basically make a little bit more money uh, so that we can scale up production yet even more. Uh, let's go ahead and add another one of these. Uh, let's see, that's going to be an unloader. Uh, do we have enough to make another mine cart? We do not. I should have looked at that first, uh, but I already didn't do that already. 
And let's see, how are things going here? Um, let's bump up that to a higher priority and let's set that one to just do coal ore. Uh, so that way we don't have robots trying to go all the way over there to there if, and they'll instead just wait for the, the closer one to come by. And by setting that one on a medium priority, they'll load this one up first, and then that should make it where the robots only load up this one whenever they have nothing better to do. At least I think that's the way that's going to work. And you know what? We could probably use with some more robots. Uh, so let's do that. Let's build another drone bay. And uh, uh, we, we can't afford any more robots right now. Should have thought about that before our electric uh, charge hit, but uh, again, I, I did not. Um, let's go ahead and take that out. We'll, we'll go ahead and wait and until our, our, our money comes through and we actually get those drones. There's no sense paying for it uh, if, we, if we don't need it. Go ahead and add another cart. Um, okay, let's see. Drones are 4,000. How much is the facility? It's 10,000. So we need at least 14,000 uh, before we do that. All right, there we go. There it is. Uh, let's hurry up and get these guys out here before the electric charge hits. Very good. Uh, you can go into the negative. I don't know that there's any penalty for that. Uh, there may be. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's how I got to the 10. Oh, no, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure that there's any financial penalties at all. Sure would stink if there were. Uh, because I like to go into the red a lot. Um, it's, it's one of the things that, one of my favorite things to do. All right, that's looking better. Um, there's some things I would like to do here, but I'm not sure that we have the money to do it. Uh, let's see, how much is another road pit stop? $10,000. All right, um, I tell you what, let's, uh, let's do it. Um, the third third one doesn't get utilized as much. Um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and set it to just iron ore. Uh, the same way we set this one to just coal ore so they don't take coal all the way over and across. Um, that one's low priority. That one's medium priority. And I think that'll work out fairly well. Um, let's just throw a couple more drones down just so we max out. And that is going to get... That's going to get, uh, that's going to get stuff a moving. All right. I'm, I'm liking the looks of that. Uh, let's see. How much is another research facility? It's 10,000. I would like to get another one of those and, um, I'd like to get another iron rig going up as well. And, uh, it looks like when this truck makes it right here, that's going to be our cue for that to happen. Uh, let's see, we need to do a, a transfer tube uh, coming out of our iron here. And uh, yeah, we'll get, get you feeding into there. And that'll double up our research. And uh, we'll get that going. All this is uh, temporary. And unlike in some of my other playthroughs, I really, really do mean that. Um, we can basically go and sell everything right now and get all of our money back. So there is no penalty for rebuilding other than time. Um, I think it, it, it actually works out, works out fairly well. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get our last little rig done here. Uh, let's see. Let's take that out and see if we can make this curve right here. Uh, the answer to that is we cannot, but I think we can go one more back. Yes, we can. And, uh, that should give us our clearance. Yes, I think I think that's going to work. Uh, do we have enough? Oh, we have just enough for one more minecart there. 
and that should keep us in business. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we can trim off that piece right there as well. All right, well, we got a little bit of money flowing in right now. Uh, we've got a lot of robot workers working. Uh, let's expand this out a bit too, just to get a little bit of buffer out there. Um, our sciencers are sciencing, our craters are crating, our uh, carts are carting. Everything looks, looks going, it's going pretty well. Um, the goal basically here next is to get the, um, get the, the conveyors unlocked. And once the conveyors are unlocked, we can actually start building factories and start processing some of this stuff. We could start refining right now, but I feel it's kind of a waste of time to do that. Uh, to set up a, a system that we're just going to have to tear down once we unlock the conveyors. Uh, we want to get those first. I believe we need uh, 45,000 science in order to get that occur. So we are, are very, very close. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where we will probably get refining unlocked. Uh, we'll get the conveyor belts unlocked. And uh, we will get into a new phase of this factory where we can start making more money. So we can start producing more so we can make more money. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.